Hi guys, today I'm doing my lipsticks for dark skin video and or darker skin, not dark skin, darker skin. <laughs> Be proper. So if you guys are interested in seeing the types of lipsticks for dark skin, just stay tuned. The first lipstick that I'm wearing is the Black Cherry Milani lipstick. This is number 24. I really like this lipstick because it was, um, I was looking for a dark color to wear during the winter time and I realized that I can wear this type of lipstick in the spring and summer too. So I really like this lipstick. I wear it a lot. It's my favorite. I get a lot of compliments on it aside from Sangria. So um, yeah, I like this lipstick and this is the swatch for it. So this is what it looks like on the skin. See, I kind of did it both ways. I don't know which side you guys might like better, but this is what it um, generally looks like. This is what it looks like as far as swatches, if you want to see it compared to your skin. It's very dark. It's kind of purple, but it's a nice dark lipstick, and it's pretty good to wear in the springtime. I was going to try all the lipstick on for y'all, but then I realized my poor lips weren't going to... They were like, no. <laughs> so I'll just do the swatches. The... Um, Rose Femme is very light. It's like a nude, but um, pair it with the right lip liner, it looks really, really good on. So that's Rose Femme. The other one that looks really good is Sangria. I wear Sangria a lot, especially during the day. Black Cherry I wear mostly at night. Sangria I wear during the day, and it's a really pretty, um, kind of plum, but a little bit lighter. And it's so pigmented. This is the best ever this is sangria let me show you guys dark cherry again so you can see the difference and sangria is number 21 and if you want to see how sangria looks in like real life with me um, you can just look at my spring break vlog because I wore majority of my spring break this one right here is black cherry and this is sangria so it's not that big of a difference between the two um, black cherry is just a little bit darker than the Sangria lipstick from Milani. Um, last Milani lipstick that I have is the Matte Glam. This one I wore, um, I think I wore this in my spring break vlog too. I don't have this lipstick yet, this is my mom's, but um, when I did wear it before I gave it to her, because I got it for myself and then I ended up giving it to her because I was like, nah. But when I tried it on that one day, I was like, dang. I shouldn't have gave it to her. So, um, Matte Glam, number 65. This is how Matte Glam looks. And it is very bright. This is the, probably the brightest, um, brightest lipstick that I've ever tried on. But it is so pigmented and so pretty. Um, I got a lot of compliments on this lipstick when I wore it. Um, and I didn't wear it with any uh, lip liner either. It was just a lipstick by itself. And it was really pretty on. So I really like the Matte Glam. So I had to go back and get one for myself. Like I said, I don't think I mentioned this before. No, I haven't. The problem with Milani lipstick in my city, on my side of town, you know, pretty much everywhere, this lipstick is in high demand not even this lipstick the brand of milani is in a high demand you can go to the store and look for milani and it's not there because people have like cleaned the shells off of them so milani is in short supply so when you get it you have to grab it right away the other brand of lipstick that i wear is black radiance and i don't really have a wide variety of lipstick when it comes to them um I have a wide variety of lipstick when it comes to um, when it comes to black radiance. But the lipsticks that I do like that belongs to them is number um, 5117, 5033, and um, 5016. Um, 50, no, 5016, yeah. Um, this one is a purple. The uh, 5117 is a purple light matte glam. It's just a little darker. So this one right here is the Milani Matte Glam, and this one is the um, 50 
16 by Black Radiance. And it's kind of similar to, they're kind of similar in colors. This is just a shade darker. The other lipstick, 5033. I love this lipstick too because it's a deep red. And y'all know I love my deep red lipsticks like my MAC Ruby Woo. So good. I'll show you guys that in a second. But the 5033 is the best red lipstick ever. It's like a cranberry and it's so pretty on. And you can wear it all times of the year too. So this is number 5033. So try that out. It's great. Um, I wore this lipstick. If you want to see how it looks on me, I wore this lipstick on my sister tag video with my sister Ava. Um, I think we both had this lipstick on. So if you want to see how it looks on a darker skin and on a slightly lighter skin tone, you can check out that video and see how it looked on the two of us. The final black uh, radiance lipstick is number 5016 and I don't wear this lipstick very often but this is the um, it's a much lighter red lipstick than um, number 5033 so but I really like this lipstick too you just have to wear it with the right type of lip liner and that's pretty much the case with all of these lipsticks um, if you don't necessarily like the shade, you can change it up with the right type of lip liner and, you know, make it work for you. But this is number 5016. The final lipstick is my MAC Ruby Woo. Um, if you guys want to see the review on this video, you can just check it out on my YouTube channel. I'll also put the link below for you guys to see um, how I felt about it. All in all, I love this lipstick. I think it is great for all shades of skin tones. It's just my opinion, but... Um, I really like this lipstick and I haven't gotten around to wearing it in the springtime. I was stuck on it during winter. This was like my go-to lipstick aside from the Black Cherry. Um, but this is the bomb.com if you ask me. And compared to the other lipsticks, this is the swatch for Ruby Woo. And the only problem that I have at Ruby Woo is that it makes your lips feel dry after a while because it's so, um, it's so matte and it's so opaque it's just you just have to make sure that you moisturize your lips before you put it on but compared to the other lipsticks this is the MAC Ruby Woo it's a very uh, bright red and I love it I absolutely love it um, it complements skin very well in my opinion but this is the Ruby Woo swatch oh oh I lied I had one more um, I talked about this lip gloss in my accessories video, but this is number 6303 lip gloss by Black Radiance, and as you can see, it's kind of faded because I've been wearing this for a minute, but um, it's pretty much the same color as Sangria. I wear those two together because they complement each other really well, um, but this is a good lip gloss as well if you don't want to wear lipstick all the time. Um, the thing that I like about um, Milani and Black Radiance is they have a natural gloss to their lipstick aside from Max Ruby Woo which doesn't have that gloss factor into it um, but I really like that the Milani and Black Radiance has that kind of like a shine to their um, product already but this concludes my lipstick swatch video for dark skin. If you guys like these lipsticks give me a thumbs up um, I will put the names of the lipstick all on the uh, description section. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to add them to the video. And I will see you guys next Thursday for another upload.